Let's draw a line in pencil. I start by laying down a light tonal value over the entire paper using a cloth dipped in graphite powder. I then use the cloth to sketch out the basic tonal values in the line as well. Now this step allows me to quickly get a feel for the drawing as I'm able to picture the line within a few minutes. But as you can see, I'm not trying to create any details or even shadings at this stage. I'm simply laying down abstract shapes. Now we can start drawing the line. I will alternate between drawing with my pencils and erasing using a pen shaped eraser. We'll start with the body and the hind legs as this is the easiest. Using the chisel point pencil, suggest the short hairs on the body and leg with a scribbling motion. Don't try to draw individual hairs though, simply shading in the same direction as the hairs is enough for this area. Then lift out the highlights using the eraser and a flicking motion. I don't spend too much time here as it's not the focal area. The mane is pretty complex as it has a back area which is full of wiry matted hair and the front area which has long light and flowing hair. We'll start with the back area by roughly establishing the contrasts and the general directions of these hairs. For this I use a chisel point and a chopping motion. Now as you can see I first establish the major contrasts and then I gradually look for smaller and smaller contrasts. At this stage I completely ignore any fine detail. If you've got hassles doing this, then look at your reference photo by squinting your eyes so you're looking through the eyelashes. And this will allow you to see the basic shapes and contrasts minus the detail. Once you're happy that these contrasts have been established, then you can start to add the detail. Flick in a few dark ears in the correct direction and then lift out a few light ears using the eraser. Now as the hair is very matted in this area, you will need to add many layers of pencil hairs and erased hairs. So you'll need to be patient while working in this area if you want it to look real. Next I move on to the ears. Yeah, I stab in the short hairs using a very dark pencil. The darker inside of the ear gets many pencil strokes and then the lighter outside area gets less pencil strokes. Here you can see a close-up of how I draw and erase to get that hair effect. For the shorter hairs on the face, start at a point, any point, it doesn't matter, and then work your way methodically around the whole face. You draw using short continuous stabbing strokes using the correct value pencil. For very light hair areas, you use the 2H pencil. To go darker, you use the H, then HB, and then the B pencil, and so on. This multitude of short continuous stabbing strokes will simulate the short hairs on the face. And if you need to use the eraser to lighten areas where needed, go ahead. As you draw, look out for the directions of the hairs. It's critical that your strokes follow these directions, otherwise the shape of the face isn't going to look correct. I'll go ahead and complete all the short hairs on my lines face, you do the same. The eyes are the focal point of the drawing, so we need to make them look good. I always start off with the black outlines as it helps to get the shape of the eye correct. I then carefully shade in the correct tonal values in the eye, remembering that the lion has a vertical pupil. Then at the end I erase the reflections in the eye and complete the detail work around the eye. For the nose, you want to get a looking in effect by the nostrils. You do this by making the inside of the nostril super dark and then shading it lighter towards the outside. Notice also that there is a lighter halo around the nose area. The belly goat is very light, so we need to draw it using as few pencil strokes as possible in order to keep that area light. The way you do this is to negatively draw in the silhouette to establish its shape. And then you simply suggest a few details inside the belly goat itself. I complete the mouth area by drawing in the oval shaped dots 
by the whiskers. Don't draw the whiskers in yet though, they come later. As I draw, I'm constantly checking over the drawing. As you fill up more of the paper, the two tonal values of what you've drawn become more obvious. The whiter the paper makes what you've drawn appear darker than it really is. So as a result, you have to keep checking yourself and adjusting your tonal values as you continue to draw. Now most people don't do this step, which means that their drawing often lacks that lovely darks which are needed to bring the drawing to life. For the front main, use your chisel point pencil as before, but this time use long flowing strokes along the direction of the hair. As with the back main, you will need to alternate between the pencil and the eraser and draw in layers in order to get a natural effect. Pencil, eraser, pencil, eraser, and so on. Here the directions of your strokes are very important and we all tend to either straighten our lines or we exaggerate them. So what you want to do is carefully draw in a few of the most important direction lines. After that, you will be able to work faster as you can lay in the rest of the lines and the directions without losing those initial correct directions. We're nearly done with the drawing, so what I'm looking for at this stage are contrasts that can add depth and dimension. Contrasts like the shadows cast by the billy goat onto the mane, and the contrast between the front and the back mane. Once I'm happy with these contrasts, then I'll go ahead and add the whiskers as a final finishing touch to the drawing. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please like the video and leave a comment below. Also subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this one. If you'd like to join me for the draw along version of this class, then you can head over to onlineartlessons.com. We have hundreds of draw and paint along tutorials waiting for you there. So I'll see you there.